This is an audio test. This is a test of our audio. If you you and me forever we used to be That's the end of the audio test. This is an audio test. All right, so are we ready to start it? Let's 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 let's, let's, let's start, let's start the thing. <clears throat> hey, everybody! Welcome. How are you? Hello. Hi, Tyler. Hi. What's I'm up? Excited. I like your shirt. Oh, thank you very much, Target. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everybody to the first episode of Happy Hour Friday, our incredibly casual look at Star Citizen. Uh, I'm one of your hosts, Community Manager Jared Huckabee, and joining me, as always, here on Happy Hour Friday. Why don't you introduce yourself, my my favorite esteemed Community Manager Tyler Whitkin? Feels nice to get to do this with yes. you again. It's been a while since we've done one of these informal yes. things. It feels informal. Good. That was the word. I was trying to remember the word. That was the word. I was word. trying to remember yeah. the word. All right, so we are we are. This is our very first episode, so we're going to be working out a couple of uh, technical kinks here. Um, for right now, yeah. there. See, we do see some people saying audio desync, which is interesting because we were working with this for quite some time. Hey, JJ. Hey, JJ. We're going to take a few minutes and work this out here. JJ. Yeah, sounds good. Let me go knock on this window here. Inter entertain the masses, Tyler. Hello, masses. Um, what's going on in my world? Well, I'll tell you a little bit about the show. Um, like everything, Wish Star Citizens development, and this includes community content. Um, this is our first time doing this format, mm -hmm. and we're excited to hear what That's you have to fun. say about it, feedback, all that jazz, and um, we'll continue to iterate it. A um, few fun guests today, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, I'm wondering if I am desynced as well. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I am desynced as well. Okay. I wish I had a better microphone. Okay. Try uh, try the different transcoding options, because we did play with this for about you know an hour and a half before, and we were good. So let's do this here. No, you are perfect. They said, but I don't think they're addressing my audio. <laughs> All right. Guys, the desync is fine. It's an alpha. Gotcha. All right, let's go ahead and bring in our first guest while I play with the desync here. Uh, Tyler, why don't you tell us who our guest is? Yes, introducing the one and the only, you may have heard of him, Mr. Meyer Test. Hello, Hello. Meyer. Yeah. How are you? Hi. I'm good. Thanks so much for having me over. Gotcha. No, it's our pleasure. Welcome to the show. So why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do, streamer, YouTuber, I don't know. Why don't you uh, let them know? All right, awesome. So, um, yeah, my name is Meyer. I'm a uh, broadcaster here on Twitch. You can see my details somewhere over here. There. Yeah, so Meyer underscore test. Um, as the name implies, I'm a member of uh, Test Squadron, which is... I've uh, never of heard of them. Oh, uh, well, they're, they're a small organization. Uh, let's oh, yeah. leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a moderator over there as uh, well as being a podcaster on the uh, Fortnightly Frontier, which is a another podcast where you talk about Star Citizen, video games in general, drinks, that kind of thing. Fantastic. And how did you discover Star Citizen? All right. Well, that's actually, I mean, that's a bit of a long story. Uh, well, we I, got a little uh, bit of time while they figure that out. So well, right, okay. we said informal, we meant informal. All right, cool. So um, I used to be really, well, I still am really big on survival games. And so I used to play a lot mm, of DayZ. Oh, yeah. yes. No, Daisy. I have yeah. an unhealthy amount of hours in that game. And H1Z1 and Ark and all those survival games. All it's right. Yeah, yeah. One of the things so, that brought me to Star Citizen was a lot of those survival elements. But yeah, sorry. Yeah. You talk about DayZ quite a bit. Yes. Yeah. So, mm. yeah. so yeah, as you can uh, imagine, uh, because I was so into DayZ, I was always on their Reddit, looking at all the new posts, the wiggling, that kind of stuff. And uh, because DayZ and you know what it was at the time, it was brand new, that kind of thing. Uh, there was a grace period where, because of the emerging gameplay, people were like really open to talking mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And over time, changed uh, that kill yeah, on sight mentality. Kill on sight, exactly. Support. And so I think a lot um, of a lot of survival games uh, have to deal with that same type of thing. Exactly. Yes. 
part of the growing pains, I suppose. But uh, I, I, you know, as a result, though, people on on that Reddit going, I wish this community could be more like a Star Citizen community. And I was like, what's Star Citizen? <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I bought awesome. a 315P that day because oh, wow. of what I saw. It was crazy. It was crazy how awesome the community so is. So did you play the, the Daisy mod? Um, yeah, yeah. I was back there with, in the mod days. Okay, so yeah. you're old school. So you're old of school. Course, of course, yeah. yeah. Awesome. <laughs> so for Star Citizen, what, what type of gameplay are you looking forward to being a part of? What's, what's your thing? Um, I think I'm with the main bandwagon here when um, I say I'm really into the multi-crew stuff. Like uh, things with the constellation, having all those different seats, and you know, someone being in the captain and exploring, and really just yeah, yeah, the no, universe is, going to be so is great. Huge. Yeah. Now, speaking of exploration, if you guys don't know, the weekly newsletter is going out, and if you're into exploration, you may want to check out the sneak peek because it's pretty rad. I don't even know if you've had a chance to see it yet, Meyer. Have you? I had a qu quick peek at the uh, the picture that you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> all right. Yeah. For me. Oh, well, you're back. We're good. Well, it looks like pe people are uh, pe people are working on it. It looks like it's a me it's an issue with the Twitch uh, uh, encode options because a lot of people are okay. having no problems at all. And when they change their their uh, when we change their when they change their decode options, uh, it all syncs back up. So okay, so if so, then yeah, instructions change your encoding, and uh, you should be good for now. I'm happy that yep. they can hear us. Yep. If we're a little out of sync, we apologize for that. But at least yep. you can hear our soothing voices. All right. So with that, why don't we jump into the game? Because we don't, I don't get a whole let's lot of time it. to play. So, so let's, let's yeah. go ahead and jump into the game here. So we're going to switch to our, our game this. cameras here. Oh, I've shrunk. <laughs> so, Meyer, why don't you tell us a little about what we're going to be playing uh, today? Um, we're going to be playing some Star Marine. Yeah. Um, I believe we're doing Elimination. So yes, it's uh, free for all. So we're going to be talking to chat and kicking some butt. Well, I I'm heard you sigh, yeah. Jared. Why are you sighing? I'm an objectives guy. I'm an objective guy. I'm, I'm, I'm a last stand guy. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a person who runs the objectives mean, and captures. Does that mean that you're into just camping or? No, I'm, a, I'm into accomplishing the objectives. So I'm, I'm not fair. so, I'm not so good at the uh, at the one on one uh, combat aspects. I'm good at getting jobs done. Well, we do have the opportunity to be a little competitive. It looks like um, some names I recognize already in the leaderboards. Looks like WTF Asaurus is in this match. No, all right. So maybe we should just hunt him. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can we team up? Isn't that like cheating? Yes. Let's not do that. <laughs> I've got my sights on uh, on on the two of you. I'm just checking the broadcast here. Let's see. Uh... And you guys loaded in for me. You must have better computers than I do. Definitely. Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I like you, Meyer. We're going to get along just fine. Right. So it looks like people are still piling in, waiting for some folks to ready up. And this is a, a good time to remind everybody that when you join a match, please ready up. Just do it. Oh. Thanks all of Are you talking to me here. right there? There you go. I press ready. I'm ready up. Thank you. The number didn't change, though, so I don't know if I believe you. So we, we do have Twitch chat open, guys. So hello to all of you beautiful people in chat. Thanks for stopping by. If you missed the beginning, this is Happy Hour Friday, trying something new. Um, we'd love to hear what you guys think about it after the show. And like everything in Star Citizen iteration, so we'll uh, we'll continue tweaking it and fine tuning it and making it more fun. Yes, this is the very first iteration of Star Citizen or, or Star Marine, and like all things in Star Citizen, uh, we get these things out to you in its earliest you know playable state, so you can expect lots of changes and improvements coming up in the future. Absolutely. With the game and with the show. All right, there we, we go. Here. So we are about four short from a full match. Six people not readied up. Bunch of slackers. I wish I could see them by name so I could make fun of them. Right. It'll auto start in a second, won't it, though? Right. Yeah, it'll auto start. There's a there's a time. All right. So I was I was looking at I was looking at the YouTube stuff. Uh, what map are we on? I wasn't paying attention. Are we on Demian. Oh, we're on Echo Eleven. Oh, we're on Echo Eleven. Right. Hey. Look at that. Uh, the Jarinator. That wasn't me. That was Darjanator. Darjanator. I know that guy. I got him, though, so I guess <laughs> I know that good. guy. All right, looks like the match is about to start, so let's... Hi, Darjanator. Welcome to Happy Hour Friday. I'm going to uh, shoot some lasers in your face. Start. You dead. Nope, you're not dead. You're not even there. I'm leaving nope. you. Crazy person. 
as it turns oh, out. Uh, Darn Eater is actually uh, the co-host on the podcast I was talking about earlier. Oh, really? Another test yeah. squadron. Oh, this seems like a setup now, then. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? It does. It does. Oh, you know who's in this match, though, that I've been seeing a lot when playing after work is Dead M. Like, that Dead guy. M. Have you heard of him? Um, <sighs> I've seen him shoot me in the face many times. He's unreal. <laughs> Like he's on, like he's almost always top. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a prediction that he's gonna be top. Well, let's say he's second, and I'll, and I'll be top. I'll give him a little <laughs> bit of benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Just no scoped Wizardo. Well, uh, right now Jeff Craig is kicking butt though with uh, four kills. He's an ace now. <laughs> yes, teamwork. We we helped make Jeff Craig. A team. Ooh, wow, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Yes. See, even in the elimination, there is teamwork. Indeed. Find Jeff help Craig other people in <laughs> faces. <laughs> Dar Darginator, that was very kind of you to give me time to showcase just how completely lost I was right there before you killed me. Don't. Yes, Zylo. Your butt's Is that mine. you, Meyer? You son yep. of a gun. Uh. That was my censoring. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, let's, let's go EVA. I, my, one of my favorite areas about Echo 11 is this EVA corridor in the center here. Yeah, for sure. You know what? The sound dampening. Oh, where'd you go? Oh, Doctor Joker. I think, I, no, th I think I've got a. I think I've got a map of Echo Eleven here. Hold on, look at that. Let's see if we can do I it there. Grenaded. There we go. Oh man. That is a map of Echo Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> uh, JJ, our intrepid videographer, is sitting here telling me how badly I suck. My JJ's saying that. Yes. Let me tell you something. I've played Star Marine with JJ. Just let him know that he has no room to talk. <laughs> although, although he is kind enough to be blaming it on the mouse, he's sitting here holding a replacement mouse, saying, "Use this mouse." Oh, I just got you, Lando. Yeah, I, I, I know. My, I, that felt way better than I expected it to. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are you're at, at present. You are hooking up another mouse that Spoiling. you want me to use. I promise you, my troubles are not because of the mouse. No, they are completely skill based. Oh, I see <laughs> WTFO. Oh, here we go. No. No, he knows I'm here. <laughs> oh, what? Jeff Craig again. He got me. You gotta come over here. That's I can't embarrassing. hear you. That's embarrassing. I hope he's not watching the stream. He probably doesn't even realize he's on the stream. Looks like we're getting some Sergeant Gamble. Hi, Justin. Hi, yeah, Gamble. Go ahead and mind me. I don't know. Is that, uh, is that Mr. Chambers I'm hearing? Respawning. Any raffle today? Question mark. Uh, yes, we'll start the <laughs> raffle in just a few minutes. All right. Do we are we giving the details about that yet? Uh, as soon as we start the raffle. Fair enough. We want to let as many people yeah, you know get the notification right. the broadcast has started. You know, stop whatever they're doing, come aboard. We want as many people to have a chance to win. Don't you clip? If you start Twitch clipping WTF Source or anybody that you are friends with, killing me. Um, I don't know what I'll do. I'll just be like, eh, don't do that. <laughs> All right, let's see where you're at, Meyer. Meyer four and three. Yo, come find me, bro. I'm uh, I'm in I the am. bar or the restaurant Sorry. or whatever this is. So, like, do you know what uh, Echo Eleven is? Like, uh, Echo Eleven exactly. is one of uh, two two uh, space stations in. Oh, I know what system it is. Is it Nexus system? Brilliant! It's a space station. Space station confirmed. Oh, I knew what I knew what I knew what system it was in during the during the uh, the last live stream. Yeah, it's, you're a busy guy. It's uh, escaping it's me. It's not at the any moment. existing stations, is it? Uh, yeah, no. It's a, it's a station. Uh, Echo Eleven and Demian are both stations that will exist in the Persistent Universe. Now, these are of right. course video. These are video game within a video game representations of those stations. You know, made by uh, Electronic Access. So. The station as you see it in the Persistent Universe may not be 100% like this, just like a uh, real-world no, location. An ace. Uh, just like a real-world lo real world location that you see in a movie isn't exactly the same. Spawning. Right. I just killed WTFO. I need one more kill and I'll be on an ace. <laughs> I just need one more kill and I'll have one. Zylo, what's going on? You were not this good when we were practicing like an hour ago. Uh, I think he was yeah. hustling us. I was holding back, saving he it for He was the holding back, yeah. Yeah. Good Where thing we weren't betting now? or anything. <laughs> Eight and six. I'm an ace. You said that? Goldberg. <laughs> Bill Goldberg. Anybody who knows that, I like you more. 
Lando, where are you at? I got a kill. I'm friendly. I'm, I'm friendly, Lando. Where are you at? Yeah, I don't think that happens in this game mode. <laughs> ah! Ah! Hi, Saurus. Did you just run into him? No. I didn't know he was there until I was dead. I'm terrified of my position right now. <laughs> just a comic case. Hey, we have lots of folks. Captain, yeah. Captain Richard's in chat. Hi, Captain Richard. Oh, Sergeant so Gamble's in chat. Hey, Gamble. I love that Gamble emote. Commander Z-Man, what's up? Here we go. Doo -doo -doo. No, switch to... Oh, they ruined my ace. What is bound to happen? <laughs> All these Star Citizen community emotes. Love it. Love it. So Meyer. Yo. Well, that's unfortunate. What uh what what additions to Star Marine would you like to see? Just curious. <laughs> <laughs> Put them in the hot what seat. What additions would I like uh, to see? Yeah, let's just say there was an additional game mode or something. I'm curious. Right. I've heard, a, I've heard a lot of suggestions. Right. Well, I mean, I'm really into racing and stuff in Star Citizen. I mean, that's one of the big things that uh, drew me, uh, plus, uh, you know, the multi-crew stuff. So I would say that I would really be looking forward to, like, new racetracks, as well as maybe some okay, actual so multi-crew awesome. arena commander stuff. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. What about you? Um, there's, 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 some, there's a lot of traditional FPS game modes that I would be pretty stoked on, on having in addition to these two. Um, like a capture the flag. Yeah, that'd be rad. Yeah, CTF yeah. Uh, for death. Yes. I think uh, that was actually uh, one of the showcase uh, yes. modes. Yes, G give me, give, back me when, yeah. give me objective maps. This isn't. This is not my. Uh, this is not my forte. Looks like we have a slight, <laughs> slight amount of desync with these guys. Yeah. Just a bit. I think it's coming back now. I can see people killing each other on the uh, the thing yeah. on the top left. Top so right. Let's see who's in the lead. I did not. I was not accurate with Dead M. He is seventeen and nine. But Jeff Craig, 25 and 4. I have not heard of Jeff Craig. Uh, Jeff Craig is actually a member of Test Squadron. He's actually made a it's, number it's of just, uh, emotes like for us. At this point. <laughs> there are over 11,000 citizens in Test Squadron. They have strict requirements. Yes, they have very strict recruiting requirements. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hi, Test. Can you left click? Yes. Welcome. Hey, Test, <laughs> test Squadron members in uh, Twitch chat, show us your love. No, Drop I, those test emotes in there. there's at least one of them in chat. You know, you just never there know is. when you're going to. Let's see some one. test emotes in chat. Meyer here is a representative test squad. I don't think here. you're going to see any test emotes, to be honest. Drop your Richard Hearts in chat. <laughs> there it is. There, there it is. Come. There's some test hearts there. I would like to point out that my KD ratio is positive. Is that a like? Is that what tools say, <laughs> or I, should I be proud of this? <laughs> uh, what 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 is my KD ratio? Uh, let's take a look. Disco Lando is seven eleven. You are you have a negative KD ratio. Yeah. Um, but I think the term that is often used is on. scrub, uh, new. Yes, but if this if, uh, if this were last stand, I'd be tops in points though. That's fair. I'll, I will give you credit that when we were doing internal play tests, you were very good at capturing points. It's hard to sound like a like a badass though. <laughs> <laughs> I'll capture all your points. All your points are belong to us. That is, uh, capturing points is how we, uh, we won the Electronic Access Invitational, isn't it, Tyler? You know what? I know, I, I know, if, if what is capturing points, you know what, yes. buddy? Hi, Jeff Craig. I like to do this. <laughs> That's what I have to say to you, Lando. Oh man! You see the love. Look, they're giving me some supportive love with some emotes in chat. <laughs> with some Xylo faces, yeah. I <sighs> see the Astro Pub is in chat, Mr. Paul. Hey, congratulations to you. Yes, Astro Pub was just recently partnered with Twitch. Indeed. Yeah, that's awesome. A lot of people in the oh. Star Citizen community are getting partnered, and it's really exciting for us to see. It's awesome. I just decided to take oh. a look outside. So, if you are a um, a fan of good sci-fi content the Astro Pub in chat give them a follow all right i just want to say yeah, the the the, ex, the exterior of this map doesn't get enough love look at the exterior of this all right 12 and 9 i'm not upset with this what? oh we have we have some guests here we have some guests sneaking in here hold on let's oh my gosh let, let, some guests we have some guests sneaking in here let's, let's, <laughs> let's, let's, let's push a button right there this is a uh, design director mr todd pappy how you doing todd 
Oh, hold on. Let me bring you up there. Hi, hi. Try it again. How you doing, Todd? Hello. Hello. Todd, what's up, I, dude? I'm staring at Tyler. Yep. Des- yes. Design director for, for for Star Marine. And we also have Mr. Alex Marshall. How you doing, Alex? Good day. I'm good. good. Fine. Thank you. Yeah. you. You guys are in town from Germany, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Now we're doing all those big uh, uh, summits yeah. at the be- that we always do at the beginning of the year, huh? Well, and I'll be here for an extra week um, just to meet with Tony and CR and, and Aaron for kind of final planning for PU and, and what we can do and awesome. go on from there. You going bowling with us tonight? I am. I am. It's going to be fun. Just rub it in that I'm all the way over here in Texas. Going bowling yeah. with Todd Pappy. Now, See, Alex. Todd was here at the beginning of the week and never asked me to go bowling. <laughs> just wanted to throw that out. Now, Alex, you're a, you're a producer for First oh. Resident, and uh, your focus as of late has been Star Marine. Pretty much, yeah. 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 What's like that been like? With the guys uh, in uh, in Frankfurt and also in UK, um, focusing on them, uh, with them on on the first summer release in in December. So, yeah, now uh, we uh, we met up here um, to uh, talk about what the plans are for the next releases coming up. Um, so that's why we met all with the other senior producers as well, and then traveling back on uh, um, Sunday uh, to then put the stuff into action and mm. get things rolling. Yeah, cool. Now, uh, obviously, we just put 2.6 out. Uh, there's some work. We're, there's some work being done on two six one. Finally, I know. Star Marine. I know. <laughs> Trust yeah. me, you don't have to tell me. <laughs> I know. About time. Ah, so, what, what, so, t- Tyler, what was the Sesame what what Street? what was the line that you told me? <laughs> I was just I was I was I, I I when I saw Todd, we actually were at a bar earlier this week, um, and I was just like, "Hey, Todd, did you know Star Marines released?" And he was like, "I know," and we <laughs> hugged because Todd and I actually have a history with Star Marine mm-hmm. um, back when I was in QA before Community. Um, Todd and I worked very closely yeah. um, working on Star mm-hmm. Marine, so it's it it feels good. And so when I saw Todd in town, like we just had this embrace, we, like this is good. we sh- we and shared a moment. We shared a moment. We did, <laughs> and this is only the start, right? I mean, with with how iteration yeah. works, yeah. it's just going to get cooler and better. Yep. Yep. All right, so let's start our next game, Mr. Tyler. You have you have the lead All on right. our team here. Go ahead th- I will go ahead and th- throw us in here and switch these cameras out. Now we are we are playing uh, elimination because Ch- because these guys prefer the. Uh, the, the easy way. The, yeah. the, the easy, thank it's you, thank the you, way thank you, Alex. <laughs> These guys prefer no, just Alex, the, just the that. killing of the people, <laughs> and I'm like, no, I prefer I prefer the objective gameplay. I prefer, yes, I prefer the, the, the tactics. Same. <laughs> so the cool thing about doing these um, these more informal shows live is uh, you never know who's gonna stop by. So who's gonna stop Alex by? and Todd? This kind of works out perfectly that we're in a Star Marine match because we can ask you lots of questions. Yes, yeah. and and Tyler, I, I expect more of you on this. Just, just please understand I that. I literally got killed <laughs> I know. the moment you said that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> By me. Yep. Was that you? Yes. Did you just yes. do the celebratory <laughs> emote as well? Yes. <laughs> You're a piece right. of so, 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 so just, just wait for future teabag options. Kind of thing. <laughs> so you guys you guys spent a lot of time working on Star Marine, get, getting that very first iteration, certainly not the last iteration, the very first iteration right. out with 2.6. How did that feel? How did that feel when we finally pushed the button? It f- felt very good. I mean, for the longest time, for the longest time, you're, you're you're working on all of these features. You're thinking about them, and you're playing it, and uh, you're just like, God, that sucks. And, <laughs> <laughs> and you just got to polish and polish and polish. And then you know, towards the end, Alex and I actually sit right next to each other in Frankfurt, um, and so you know, he and I are always in each other's ears talking about it, and. Uh, and then you know we got to a point where we looked at each other and we're like, finally, finally, it's, it's a, a good, game. It's a good feeling. Yeah. Right? yeah. Also for the team to you know to see all the stuff like coming together, putting that stuff out, and having people getting their hands on it. I mean, we had like pieces of that in in the PU already. Yeah. But it was like just like a small like navigation <laughs> fraction on that, um, not the whole package. And yeah. it's like it's a great uh, great achievement feeling actually. Hey, I have all your in-game like sound effects, and yeah. they are super loud. Is there yeah. any way to... T- uh, not the moment, no. Okay. <coughs> Technically, those are Alex Marshall's in-game sound effects, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, I, I blame the yeah. audio team. Yeah. I, I'm glad you lasted Meyer, for, you what, any, uh, two seconds there? Here. Good I'm job, Jerry. Meyer, do you have any questions for these, for these fine gents? Um, I have a lot of questions. I don't even know where to start. I think uh, the first thing I probably want to ask is... I mean, we're in this map here at Demian. Is there a backstory to this uh, to this station? Yeah. So uh, basically, this is supposed to be taking place in the Nexus system, which uh, is is where um, 
the arena commander um, also takes place. <laughs> so the idea is that uh, there are pirates in here, um, and they would kind of taken over the system. And actually, they, this was supposed to be a massacre that happened here. Um, I don't think that we have we have all the blood effects and everything that blood smears that we need in here. Um, but that's one of the things that we're we're going to be adding. Um, right. But uh, the idea is that the the uh, you really want me to use the new mouse Th here? That the uh, let me use your new mouse and let me see if I get the better. The Marines were sent to come in here and, and oh, that's nice. clean up the system, <laughs> and so this is that's kind of the basis for the for the game mode, um, as well as for the story um, in Echo Eleven, as well as Damien. So Echo Eleven was okay. was supposed to be Good. more like um, just a built up area that uh, that <laughs> had been surviving for for quite a while. Uh, there's a there was a, a walled city in China, and that was kind of the inspiration for for um, Echo Eleven, and uh, right, you know, as far as the art theme goes, um, from a from a gameplay standpoint, it was uh, it, Sean had started working on that one. That was his original map, and uh, we had talked about like a mining colony on on the on a ravine, and then. Um, you know, from from our design standpoint, we always have things that we need to to get in there, um, and uh, then from there we start adding believability passes. So, and that's working with Ian and Eddie and and the team. Now, one of the questions that fans have had, I'm watching it in chat right now. Somebody asked, you mentioned blood, and not all the blood is in there. Uh, is zero G blood? Is that is that is that a possibility? Is that something that's I, uh, yeah, I, I think I believe Mike Snowden and his team worked on it. Um, it you you do see it in uh, the Spawning. Gamescom demo. Um, I think that's uh, it's one of those things where we effects and audio they always come in so hot or so mm -hmm. late in into the process. So now now it's going to be iterating and adding um, those features. And, and once we add it into the PU, it will also obviously in, be incorporated into Star Marine or, or vice versa. It, it really depends on which one is, um, is the focus. So it, either everything will be pulled in from the PU or everything will be pulled in from Star Marine to the PU. Gotcha. Now, one of the things uh, that folks often ask about are things like gadgets. Yes. So things to make the game more tactical. Now, obviously, not in two six one. Two six one is a is an iterative patch, is a, yeah. you know, bug fixes and stuff. But uh, what can you tell us, if anything, about you know gadgets and Respawn. stamina, you know, upcoming features? Additional grenades. Well, <laughs> yeah. So um, I would like well, invulnerability, you. You invulnerability for CIG employees. <laughs> um. <laughs> all possible. So I on, just spawned. I, I was saying that Tyler couldn't. Were you about to talk some crap? Yes, I was. That that <laughs> Tyler can't use the ones he has um, on him. I'll just tell you, that you're a little <laughs> bit lucky that you're halfway across the country right now. Damn. Buddy. So, <laughs> so, so um, well, with the with grenades and gadgets, and um, those are a lot of the gameplay features that that I want to add. Um, same with breathing and stamina. Um, even downed and revive state because as soon as we add downed and revive then it makes it very easy for us to actually turn off spawning and uh, encourage um, versus force uh, certain types of gameplay um, and the way that people we want the players to, to uh, play the game so it's more like the persistent universe um, I so, can't believe how bad I am uh, I mean, I'm, I'm just low, low <laughs> <laughs> Um, but uh, for grenades and gadgets, we we have a, a couple of different things in mind. Um, however, I would like to make them a little bit more modular and scalable. So, so the idea is that you get um, components. So, like you get a frag component, or you get a, a throwable component, or you get a drone component, or you get a, a placeable um, frame. You know, so then at that point you can kind of mix and match these these different things together. So, nice. like if you want to take an EMP, you can put it on a on a on a grenade or a throwable component, or you can put it on a drone, or you can put it on um, um, basically a turret and. So then at that point, it's more about us um, figuring out what kind of gameplay it. we need to take care of and then go from there. Uh, um, you mentioned uh, that elimination, at we least on these two maps, are kind of, they tie in with the backstory of Demian and uh, a massacre that happened here. Well, actually, um, Last Stand is, is, is probably closer to what it is. So, right. Yeah. 
Um, are there any other game modes that perhaps maybe you might be thinking of adding to the game? I mean, like That's a, a question. well, f for for us, um, I would love to uh, work on basically what what I would consider an asymmetrical mode, and um, right. uh, from a um, from a gameplay standpoint, meaning incorporating our vehicles or incorporating our ships as well as FPS. So it would be it'd be a, a love child between. Um, Arena Commander and Star Marine. I was cross-fired. Gotcha, I was, I was, gotcha, I was shooting the other guy. Gotcha, disco. Uh, you could have let me kill the other guy. It's not like I get a lot well, of kills. I don't care. Gotta kill. <laughs> Todd, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to jump in here with a question. One of the things that I personally want, so you can take this as you will. How about a ballistic sniper rifle? That is that is on the plan. So and even okay. even then um it's increasing the different projectile or sorry, the different projectile types. So for example, we've got lasers, but we don't have um for like ballistics being able to do armor piercing versus incendiary versus um like a slug for um for um Shotgun, and then what are some of the other ones we have? Like uh, plasma, a white phosphorus, and and some, some other things that would either be uh, more vandal influenced or more Jian influenced, and uh, just so then that way we're um, we're pushing and, uh, and we're pushing new things. So we talked about sh um, ship upgrade weapons. This this. Uh, just this past summit, as well as you know our projectiles and our damage types, just because with the damage types and um, so the player understands um, from an armor perspective, I want to build my armor to uh, protect more against, let's say, radiation or thermal. Oh, sorry, like biochemical versus thermal versus versus kinetic. So, so then. Um, we get a little bit more hard theming on the armors and then uh, you know for somebody that would be built for combat maybe they can't last you know uh, very long on a planet or be very close to a sun or a star or something like that hey, at least one of you thought I was gonna go and chase my own grenade be proud of me that I did because <laughs> I almost did I thought about it, I'm like no I threw a grenade I don't want to chase the grenade um, speaking of uh, armor, right now in the Star Marine we have uh, two armor sets. We have the light and we have the medium. Yeah. Uh, heavy armor hasn't been um, added just yet, but uh, once it is, what what kind of a uh, difference do you think it's going to uh, make to the way we play? Star so f for me, um, this is something I got to get approved by Chris first, so don't take it to heart. Um, right. Is is basically for for me, light marine. I would like it to be Star that marine. light marine is very fast on the ground. Um, and heavy marine is, or he heavy armor is very slow on the grounds. And then in EVA, just because the the boosters and everything like that, that the heavy marine can, or the heavy armor can have, because of the extra power supplies and and these these types of things, would be faster in EVA, and the light would be slower. And the the medium is supposed to be kind of the jack of all trades, um, master of none. Hey, like me. Right. So, uh, <laughs> so th th that's the way we we'd be pushing it, and even with um, heavy, like maybe you don't go prone, um, but in other ones you can go prone. Uh, heavy, you'd be able to carry more, um, some more grenades, more uh, not more weapons, but um, more gadgets, and then obviously take take a more of a beating from a uh, combat perspective. But you would definitely move right. slower, and you would feel it. You definitely feel the difference in in running around. Awesome. But uh, Alex, when do you know if when we have those coming online, or are we aiming uh, for like two seven three zero or something like that? I think that's more more towards three uh, zero. Okay. Overall, because they they would need to be uh, built on the character side. We need to yeah. you know make the code implementation on that, and also the balancing that we shouldn't forget about. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's like more uh, a longer team, uh, longer term. He's he, he's the good. Um, I, I Chris and I get to say, oh, we want everything, and then Aaron and and Alex are, no, you don't get everything. <laughs> so they're. <laughs> um, hey Todd, can you just uh, take a moment and pay attention to the scoreboard? Ah, uh, oh, so close. I wasn't last. Yeah. I, uh, I, I, ex I yeah, good. I expected it <laughs> out of you. Where, where was Jared actually? Was that like? Was it was even? There were two. There were two people worse than me. There were two people worse than me. Jared wasn't last. There, there were AFK probably right. <laughs> there, there were two. There were. There were <laughs> 
Also, these wow. new menu systems are pretty fancy. Wow. Yes, yeah. At least, uh, at Trev least Trevor and uh, Shaba worked very hard on that, and it's it's taken a it's taken a while for for all of that stuff to come together. But it, it, if you think about like the ship selector and and how we're we're adjusting, um, putting different weapons on that, that's eventually that's the way uh, we'll be doing it for the character as well. Oh, awesome! You know, whenever you're feeling down. Whenever life has you down, feeling blue, know that you never had to have the executive producer of Star Marine sit right next to you and, <laughs> and say the people that you outscored must have been AFK. <laughs> can, we, um, can we get some Rex and chat? I, there, there is a now. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, th I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna say something nice about streamers here. There is, there is some legitimate skill and talent involved in playing the game effectively and being on camera at the same time and, and talking. talking. Yeah. I mean, I, I because it's 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 not the easiest thing in the world. No. I am obviously not good at doing all three of those things you at the same chat time. Right now? Yes, yes, full of Rex. <laughs> yeah. So to all you streamers out there who do this regularly, who play the game and talk and be compelling at the same time, uh, kudos to to you guys. I mean not Meyer. Yes. But I mean other oh, streamers Lord. besides Meyer. Yeah. Well, that Meyer, goes without saying, really. Meyer, Meyer. Can we get some O sevens in chat for Meyer test. See how, see how that floods. I'm just enjoying making the chat flood. This is fun. So, is there any questions that uh, chat has for Alex or I? Uh, no, chat are, well, chat's Alex too full of Rex spamming. right now. Yeah, I, I see. So, it. When, when chat's done spamming, we'll take some questions from okay. from uh, the Twitch yes. chat. I have uh, another question. Yes, question. <laughs> yeah, do it up. Um, right, so um, I, I suppose uh, one of the uh, main kind of comments that I've heard from people about Star Marine in its uh, current iteration is that maybe perhaps it's a bit fast, yeah, it, it, and that it is. if you were to translate it to uh, to Star Citizen or the Persistent Universe when that comes out, uh, you know, like with Death of a Spaceman and Perba Death, that kind yep. of thing, it doesn't really kind of. Uh, yeah, no, Marry no, well? I, I, I completely we were just agree. Talking about this I, I, yeah, we were. Um, so there's there are base features that we feel are missing. Um, so first mm. one would be stamina, so you can't run forever, uh, and that there's breath associated with that, um, and even oxygen. So um, basically, you, you oxygen. can't uh, you can't be running all the time. So it's it's also f well. from an oxygen standpoint, it would be fixing the. Um, Going, uh, people being able to go outside in the PU um, with uh, completely naked, so they would be out there for X amount of seconds and then die, um, suffocate. So uh, there's limb damage penalties that we're working on as well. Uh, Lung damage. Limb damage. So like, oh, okay. like uh, basically blurry vision. Um, your stamina gets decreased. The more hits that you get, that you take in your legs or um, in your core, uh, and um, then uh, your recoil and stuff like that increases when you uh, take damage in the arms. Those types of things. Um, then from there, we're we're also uh, pushing on uh, the knockdown, the drags, um, the revives, so that you know when you're in persistent universe, uh, you don't have a respawn, you know, or you, you well you do have a respawn, but you're going to lose a, a hell of a lot of things, you know, to to go back to a different state. So this would give the players a chance to. Uh, to basically respawn or or have somebody Respawning. save them, uh, right? And then what are some of the other big ones? We just went through How you the, the list. Um, <laughs> I think you covered uh, one of the one of the questions. Yeah, the, 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 the adjusting the cover, um, and then uh, um, from getting like vertical cover, working so the up and over uh, an object. Um, uh, let me see what else. Well, also, I mean, like on on the tactical side, you know, what you mentioned before with the uh, with the different armor types that we yeah. have eventually. So, like, you know, they will be matched against each other, and each of them has different advantages, disadvantages, yep. Um, yep. with that like, kit reactions Spoiler. and so forth. So, I think like all the all these things that come in over time just build towards this whole getting uh, getting the FPS component more and more tactical. Yeah. We, we we definitely are very aware that it needs to slow down. Um, it is it is very very fast and and uh, and also obviously if if we completely took out respawning, you know, right now, right, um, then players 
I think would be working a lot slower. Um, they they might gr group up a little bit more, and even mm -hmm. um, in elimination, you might get uh, basically, you know, the the fake uh, the fake teammates where you know, hey, I'm gonna. You and I, we, we group up and then and then we'll we'll figure out when we're going to shoot each other in the back, kind of thing. So the fake allegiance. Right. Is <laughs> not not even with a new mouse. It's <laughs> <a little bit. laughs> I, I wish I wish. I, oh, you probably did you see it? In, you probably saw it in his camera. He just asks, just stares at me, goes. <laughs> we, we can we can do a mouse. Uh, how to use the mouse one on one <laughs> afterwards if you want. <laughs> Oh, the German the, burns the are strong. The passion of the Lando <laughs> right now. <laughs> so one of the questions that uh, came in th through chat, and remember, guys, when you're asking questions in chat, these are two folks who have been working on Star Marine uh, pretty heavily for the last, uh, well, quite a while. So if you're asking questions about when so the Hall A is going to be completed and stuff, so these aren't so the guys to ask. So that's the other thing is um, we just fixed a bullet penetration issue where the arms were soaking up way too many yes. too much damage. So. That will be f fixed in 261. <laughs> How to properly use your disco hando. Yeah. It says. Um, one of the questions was uh, REC, REC. Yes. Uh, are there any plans to implement uh, REC for Star Marine like this yes. in uh, Arena yes. Commander? Yes. So um, it, it worked very similar to what it does in Arena Commander. So, And then uh, what we're trying to do, and it's. It doesn't work this way right now, but obviously, wreck um, wreck would only be used in Arena Commander as well as Star Marine. So this would be our way of renting uh, weapons and trying out new things, and then from there you'd be able to uh, um, go into the persistent universe and use uh, UEC that you earn uh, via playing um, and and doing missions and and uh, or doing um, piratey things. Um, and use that to buy you, buy there. So, uh, oh, Zylo, <laughs> sorry about that. Sorry about that. So, uh, uh, uh some some questions about so ranks. Like, mm -hmm. how do the new ranks work? Uh, it's it's really just the the score right now. So, it, it works. For now. Yeah, for now. Um, it wouldn't, basically that went in. I think Luke did. Luke Presley did a, a pass on it. Um, pretty close to. Well done. Uh, I, I want to say like two, three weeks um, before we went out, and then even then we need to adjust the numbers and adjust the timing of you know how long it takes to shoot him in the butt. It's yeah. basically like ba base values right now based yeah. on our internal tests, and then we just see uh, get all the feedback from the community, see how things are tracking there in addition to the internal tests and then figure out what the what the good values are exactly so i mean the, the obviously with the arena commander it, the first version that went out and and how long it, <laughs> yeah. it's it's taken to get to the point it is right now um it, it's it took it took them quite a while but now um obviously with our team size being grown and and the you know we have a live team that is solely focused on star marine and arena commander and um basically the um, the Persistent Universe from uh, a, a, a short-term release schedule, and then we have, you know, other design, other designers and coders working on more of a long-term release. Um, you know, so uh, the space stations or planetary outposts that you guys have seen in um, when Brian talks about those mm -hmm. um, in Around the Verse, um, nice those kind of things. So it's. Uh, we have our, our short short term teams, and then we have our long t long term teams, and and then it's just Alex and I trying to plan out everything, make sure that um, the goals are aligned with uh, Jens and and Steve Bender. Gotcha. So uh, uh, one of the questions I thought was kind of interesting: um, What about uh, AI and Star Marine? We have we have AI. It, it, it is something that we've talked about, and um, it would be uh, it'd be more of a. Um, uh, HUD, uh, or it'd be, sorry, it'd be more of a way to test things mm -hmm. um, so that we can actually go through and, and build up the AI and, and uh, work out some of the issues that uh, maybe our internal test team uh, doesn't see. And obviously having a, a, bigger, um, a bigger platform to test these out and, and see what's working, what what the community's liking and, and not, then that's something that's, um, 
you know, it's it is something that we've talked about. It's just they're it's not ready for prime time just yet. Another good question from Matachi, who's an awesome Star Citizen streamer. Um, for Todd and Alex, will there ever be a spectator camera for private matches for people that want to organize their um, tournaments or leagues and stuff like that, where they don't have to have a character come in and then just play a spectator the whole match? That would be awesome for things like broadcasting as well. And yeah, I don't, I don't think we've talked about it just yet. I think we're more we're more focused on features. Um, but it's an it's not a bad idea. Yeah, yeah, definitely something we can. Hey Tyler, can you jeer that up for me? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't know if you guys knew that uh, last week there was a Star Citizen Star Marine tournament organized by the community with over 50 teams. Oh wow! Um, yep. and, it, and it was awesome. I mean, they had it set up in a private match. Um, they had one person load in, and they were just the um, the host of it, and it, it was it was awesome. So some of the feedback I had heard from those guys, and then now Matachi in chat. Matachi. Nice. Who won? Cool. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember who the winner was. I saw it on Reddit the other day. I commented on it. I can I can check it here in a second. But um, it was really fun to watch. I think they're going to be doing an Arena Commander one in February. Was it last stand only, or was it an elimination? Um, Since you said teams, I would assume that it was last stand. Yeah, yeah. I don't fully remember to be honest. Okay. You, you'll when you find the link, send it to me. Pulling it up now. Yeah, I will. Okay. It was also on ah. our community hub. Yeah, it was really good. So, uh, the winner was Prow. He won the inaugural SCCL tournament. I'll I'll link it to you. So after the stream. Okay, cool. I was on I was on vacation in Louisiana and I was tuning in on Twitch, Respawning. watching it when I could. Did you eat some poor boys? Uh, I did not. Okay. I'm not an adventurous eater. I've never <laughs> had one of those before. What, what what's in a, a poor boy? It's, I've heard it's of just, before. It's fried fried sandwich. Or, well, I mean, okay, I, I guess cool. it's it's just a sandwich. So, but I, yeah, it yeah. looks like it's a four v four tournament. You, being you can before. you can just get different things in in the sandwich. Right. Um, I've got a question. So, oh, disco kill. Yeah, me we have time to ask it now that you're dead. <laughs> ah! That's my one. Also, just well, as a reminder, Lando, we gotta do the raffle soonish. Yep. Right. Um. So, one of the things I feel kind of lend to the speed of um the so game right now, especially in elimination, but also as well in um last stand, um is the radar feature. Um, I just wanted to ask. So, I'm not really um too sure how it works right now, uh -huh. and um, in terms of design, <laughs> where is it? <laughs> it, it doesn't work as as, as as fully designed right now. So, um, right. Yeah. Basically, um. Graham and and Lee and and the audio guys uh, basically got the the decibel feature working um, pretty pretty late um, in development, um, but it, just because they had other focuses that they needed to I'm do. I'm so high on the board, I can't so, point to it. Um, but uh, for them, um, wait, 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 hold on. Are you wait, wait, actually? Wait, no, uh, you, I, I, you are I higher than Tyler. Tyler and Meyer. It did. I yes. outscored Tyler and Meyer. I, I will get. It's a late Christmas present. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a chest bump afterwards. Um, <laughs> the uh, it's it needs tuning. So eventually we, right. we will we will. It's the same thing for Arena Commander. Like right now, it, it everybody just pops on instantly, you know. And there's no concept of stealth. There's no concept <laughs> of of um, being able to hide at all. So uh, or to go dark or go cold. Um, so these are these are things that we are going to be working towards and, and pushing on. Um, a lot of that is incorporated with Item 2.0. So as soon as we, right. as, as soon as those really start okay. coming online, then um, <laughs> we need to adjust the radar. And in fact, radar is is one of the things I'll be looking at uh, this coming next week. Okay. So real quick before before we get going, uh, this last ten minutes of the show, we have started a raffle. So if you are in the channel right now, you can enter exclamation mark raffle into Twitch chat. You'll be automatically entered. You only need to enter once, and the prize for this week, our inaugural show, is a Star Citizen and Squadron Forty Two combo p game package with a Super Hornet. Sweet. So congratulations to the eventual winner. You can enter the raffle now. Uh, one of the reasons we wait to the end of the show is because if you haven't looked at chat, you can see what chat is doing right now <laughs> with the raffle spam. So it does make it rather hard to take questions when that happens. So man, I think Moobot is going ham right now yep. on the people saying it multiple times. Yeah, you only you only yeah. need to enter once, guys. 
So th 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 there are no more. There are no enter more than once. So I think we have enough time to squeeze one more game in. What do you think, Tyler? I have a quick question, just to be sure. When we were not doing raffles at our last show, did we make it to where Moobot would ban people that said exclamation point raffle? I just got banned. <laughs> yes. So they're not <laughs> spamming it. They are being muted for 600 seconds uh, for saying the words exclamation Moobot, point. Moobot, why are you doing that, Moobot? Moobot. Can we just kick Moobot? <laughs> well, no, Moobot's the thing that, that does the thing. <laughs> Who did that to Moobot? We did that. Sorry, guys. Bot. We'll get it fixed. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Okay. Lando, ready up. <laughs> All right. Let's see. So, so chat is going to be silent for the next 600 yeah. seconds. So, so <laughs> Meyer, Meyer, do you have any other questions for us? Okay, let's see. Um. Right. Do I have any other questions? Wow. No. Okay. No, uh, I get to put you on the spot. <laughs> yeah, you do. Um, okay, so Star Marine related. Uh, what is the story? But is there a story behind like the Marines and the Outlaws? I suppose, yeah. like, um, or is it just like a pseudo bomber? I uh, well, it, what do you mean the story? But well, for us, uh, hmm. the Marines. I mean, this is something that we need to build up for S forty two. So that was that was one of the things mm -hmm. that we we focused on to to make sure from concept standpoint, this is the way. Uh, Chris wants it to look, and then right. from an outlaw perspective, like there, it's just us figuring out what is an outlaw style that is in Star Marine, or sorry, in, right. in Star Citizen as a whole, and then starting to develop that style. Um, so, for example, like looking at uh, like Dutch Special Forces or something like that. Like I don't know if you, mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys have ever seen those guys, but they are scary like the the yeah. way that they their um i don't want to say costumes look but the way that their their gear looks um right so it's it, it just kind of figuring out what's what works for us and and what's not working for us um and then uh at the same time building up our uh building up the the library of of things that we need to to work on and, and build towards okay so it's you know, if if you look at um, what we did in Homestead, uh, mm -hmm. there's a way for for us to actually um, uh, do cloth on characters and and those types of things. So it's it's just really building up the mix and match um, uh, things for the outfits. Speaking of which, uh, I'm, you know, you just mentioned cloth and the Homestead armor. I mean, later on down the line, do you expect people to be able to like properly customize their gear, almost Halo style for things like Star Marine? Uh, yeah. In fact, I, I expect you guys to be able to go through and, and adjust, to, you know, if you want to wear a heavy helmet, um, which will impair more of the screen, um, or if you want to wear a light helmet or a medium helmet, um, and then being able to wear a different chest piece. You know, do you want to wear a light, medium, or heavy, or do you want to wear light, light uh, legs or arms? And then that um, adjusts your play speed, how fast you can actually move, as well as how much damage you can take, and those types of things. Right. Um, something that has been showcased, I guess, with the latest uh, ship variants now, like the Saber Comet, etc., has kind of shown the flexibility of the engine for custom designed uh, like ship models mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Um, do you have any plans, I suppose, in the future for um, being able to customize your your gear for Star Marine? Uh, you know, for instance, you know, like it, it, I wanted if I wanted red armor, but to be a marine or to like uh, put like my clan's decal on my arm or something. I personally, or, personally, uh, I would love that. I mean, I would, mm -hmm. I would go for the pink unicorn one. Um, Alex, <laughs> well, Alex, just interject really quick. Alex when would he agree says with that, that one. He means it. He is absolutely He's serious. Not joking. I am serious. <laughs> um, when he came to Austin the first time, I had him all set up with My Little Pony yeah, stuff. It's it, to me, it's it's like beating beating um, beating the player uh, with Dan in Street Fighter. Like you know, right. it's, it, that to me is the ultimate insult. Like you got beat by a pink unicorn and a forty year old man. <laughs> um, <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> at least for me, yeah, I, I want to be able to customize it. I want to be able to not only do co color variants, but also, you know, it, do I want to have cloth or a cape or, you know, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. What about decals? Uh, so, um, I, I, I think it's some of the stuff that we've talked about, but I don't know if we're going to do, like, uh, 
you know, snow variant on a on a um, on a weapon versus like tiger skin mm-hmm. or those types of things. I I think that would require some investigation on on from Toby's standpoint, our our lead weapons artist in um, in Frankfurt, and then Josh, who's the character art director mm-hmm. here. So it's it's something that I think we've briefly talked about, but right now we're more worried about building up the content library, and then from there being able to adjust it. Right. Um, speaking about weapons, you just mentioned them. I mean, like right now in Star Marine, we have, um, yes, the weapons that have been around in the game for a while, mm-hmm. but they've only just recently been like, you know, beautifully remastered, you know, in terms of the sound and the, the design and stuff. Yeah. Um, going forward, what kind, um, are there any kind of, uh, I suppose, uh, weapons that you would like to see in Star Marine? I mean, I know you must have certain you know, weapons in development, but... Yeah, so, so w- one mean? of the goals would be getting, getting in the railgun. You know, and, and, right. and in particular, if we do something that is 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 based off of uh, or a game mode that is is vehicles as well as um, players, like you need a way to take down a vehicle, um, right? Because we've we've all seen what um, a, a ship can do to a player in, in at <laughs> Gamescom, just, <laughs> um, Mr. That was awesome, Mr. Mr. Air Support, Chris yes. uh, Chris Speak. Um, <laughs> so. Uh, it's it's just working through those those types of um, features, uh, and then you know, f- for example, right now we don't have an SMG, but getting a laser var- variant or an energy variant, as well as ballistic variants, mm. and then um, same with shotguns. Uh, like Tyler said, with the sniper rifle, uh, LMGs, uh, HMGs, um, any sort of special weapons like rocket launchers or missile launchers or or uh, rail guns, those types of things. So it's it's just really building up our library, and we have um, we have a, a fairly extensive list of some of the stuff that we're working on and it's it's just really um the pipeline that uh basically alex has put together with the the leads um is pretty extensive i mean it goes from concept arts um to uh basically doing th- quick 3d models of those and then animation being able to look at it and making sure it looks good in first person just because again when you do a concept looking at it on paper you're like okay yeah that looks really cool and then you get in first person you're you're missing a lot of details or a lot of the details that you do put in are not seen yeah you know and so, right. and so working through those 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 types of things it, it takes a lot of back and forth um and then uh, i think it takes roughly about three weeks to a month to actually um model it and then mm-hmm. at that point there's animations that need to be created for it and rigging and um and then de- um, design needs to do their balance pass and effects needs to do their pass audio needs to do their pass and some of these work in tandem and but some of them you know like audio and and effects have to wait for us to actually finish you know a fair amount of it yep all right right. well with that we are at the end of our hour guys sweet so uh yes uh for those of you who are worried about the the raffle thing those were just timeouts they're not they were not bans you're not banned it's a it was a leftover from one of the live streams when we had a bunch of bots that were spamming us with raffles when there was no raffle tyler tyler bring up that again where was jared Oh, <laughs> I wasn't even in this. Jared match. is not in the match. I was not in this match. Okay. I, 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 I was making sure so everybody had an. Op- I was making sure everybody had an opportunity to enter the raffle. Okay, so cool. it was a little higher priority that time. So we are going to close the raffle now, and then draw our winner. So the raffle is now closed, and the winner luck, of a Star Citizen and Squadron Forty Two combo pack with a Super Hornet it's me, is. Right? Flauschkissen. Flauschkissen. Uh, that sounds German, actually. Flauschkissen. No. And is that cr- correct pronunciation? Flauschkissen? Flauschkissen. Flauschkissen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, took ger- I took two years of German in high school. Pretty good. You took two years? Good, yeah. Oh, sweet. Mo- I, can, I can recite the Delore lie. Yeah. Um. Well, Alex <laughs> always laughs at me when I try to speak so are German. are they here? They have to be <laughs> yes. here, right? Now, Flauschkissen, what I need you to do to claim your prize is I need you to send a private message to the Star Citizen Twitch channel with the email address of your RSI account. Now, for any reason, you're, you, you've just discovered Star Citizen today, you don't have an RSI account, you need to go to robertspaceindustries.com, register yourself an account, and then come on back here and send me that private message with the email address of that account. And then we will award you your combination Star Citizen and Squadron 42 combo package with a Super Hornet uh, sometime next week, because this is Friday, it's the end of the week. Cool. So with that... It's, it's amazing to see everybody actually 
congratulate him. Yes. I mean, no. you know, from a community standpoint, it, like there's always, you know, focus on like trolls or whatever, but it's awesome seeing, yeah. you we, know, people actually congratulate We have, we have, yeah. we have an amazing community. Yeah. Yes. And Captain Richard. <laughs> He's a softy Todd. <laughs> no, I mean. Can we get some hearts in chat from design director Todd Pappy and Alex yes. for joining us today? So, sweet. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your your, your, yeah. your your trip across the world here to yeah. to sit with us. Well, I like I like um, being able to talk to the community and, and hang out with you guys and actually see you know the game and and see how they re react to the game. Just because again, when when you're working on it, sometimes you're too close, you know. And so uh, being able to step back from it and, and take a different perspective is always good. And now the party doesn't end when we go off the air, guys. Uh, Meyer is going to continue to broadcast on his channel, which is uh, twitch.tv slash Meyer. Tell him. Uh, twitch.tv slash uh, Meyer underscore test. I think... Yep. Uh, there are a few salty people in yeah. chat, so I think I might yep. run a raffle of yep. something. Yeah, well. we are providing a Meyer with another raffle that he will give away on his channel. So you can tune in over there and uh, get your chance to win another Squadron 42 and Star Citizen combo package with the Super Hornet. So you can check that out on Meyer's channel. He'll be broadcasting for at least the next hour. Meyer, thank you for taking the time to, to join us on our first episode of, uh, of uh, Happy Hour Friday. Um, oh, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, yeah uh, we, we've, we've yeah, got thanks, Meyer. We've got a lot more uh, surprises in store as, as things go forward. Uh, be sure you check out the RSI newsletter that went out today, just before this broadcast, if you haven't already. Uh, lots of good information in there about stuff coming up. And of course, we will see you next week. So I'm Jared, and I'm Tyler. I'm Meyer. I'm Meyer. <laughs> and I'm Meyer. <laughs> and I'm Todd. And Alex. <laughs> we didn't rehearse this and at Mr. all. Unicorn. Take it easy, everybody. See you next week. All right. Um, I guess it's time for me. To